Hey guys and welcome to today's video. I hope you are having a really great day wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope that this gives you a small burst of motivation if you're going back to uni or going back to school. This was a pretty chilled day for me just doing some work and getting on with a few bits as well as other things. So I really hope you enjoy it and yeah I suppose we'll just get straight into it. So as you can see I am already working and and this morning I started at around 10am I'd say so I didn't get up too early and I was essentially just going through some notes not working on my laptop this morning but I was just revising some of the notes that I'd made as you can see I do this a lot in my videos so I might specifically sit down in a video and talk you through what I write down alongside it is basically a load of gibberish but I do try and use this method to just get things in my brain and I find that it really helps so I can't just sit and read anything if I am to learn it. I really do have to be writing things down or be doing something alongside so this is just my way of remembering things. I was setting timer so as you can just see at the start of the time lapse I press the timer on my watch and it will usually be for half an hour intervals or hour intervals and it just keeps me on track and I know what the time is so that I don't keep working for so long and then forget to do other stuff so I really do like using timers and I mentioned that in my 2019 study habits video which I recommend if you want some tips on studying. When I am working in this way I will only tend to use my laptop when I need to look up something or find a bit more detail to just clarify something in particular. So I was working for about three hours that morning so it took me to about one o'clock or just gone one o'clock as you can see on the clock on my laptop. I'm very happy to say that this video is sponsored by Skillshare and as I often get questions about time management and how I manage my time or stay motivated I would highly recommend some courses offered by Skillshare about productivity, boosting productivity and how you can stay motivated. This could be for you guys if you're going back to school or going back to university so if you want unlimited access to all the courses to meet your goals for 2019 then you can get a premium membership and if you are one of the first 500 people to click the link in the description box below then you will get two months for free. It's actually kind of cold um, today so I've got a hood up but I've got this really annoying hole in this jacket doesn't close and I get this horrible draft coming through here. It's so annoying. Anyway, let's go get Bunny and Java. Where are they? Hi! Hi! Hello! Calm down, calm down. Lovely poop. Java! Bunny, get down. Bunny jumps so hard like a clown. You ready to unleash the dogs? You ready? Go! Oh, we go. Bye. Hello, ladies. Hello. Oh my goodness me. Hello, ladies. Can I put your leads on, please? Come to Holly. Good girl. Sit, Java. Good girls. Good girls. Java. No. Excuse me, ladies. No. Oh. These dogs are honestly so hard to handle. They're so crazy. Bonnie, Java, come on. Why did they come on a walk and they just don't come? Bali, Java. Well, I'll just go on a walk on my own then. <laughs> Bali Java! This is my life. Every day. We in the field to sit, Java. Wait, girls. Bali, concentrate on the biscuits. Oh, they're not biscuits. I've got carrot. Oi, sit down, Java. Bali, ready? Java, Bali. Oh, good girls. Oh, Java, you've missed it, darling. Look, Java, you still got it. Look, don't let Bali get it. You got it? Good girl. Good girl, that's all right, Bali. What are you looking at? You saying hello to everyone? Good girl. Right, come on then. Excuse me, madam, what are you doing? Bali? Oi, she's in my pocket. Get, oi, Java, no. Don't, no, wait, I've given you enough. No. Ladies, please. Good girls. Look at their cute little bums wiggling around. The sun's gone in. It was out a minute ago, wasn't it, girls? Was the sun out? Yes, Jobs. Come on. Come on. They keep looking at me because they want more carrot. Keep going. Come on. So walking two dogs. 
it's quite hard and they are really strong so when they see food they will pull me and I kind of just get dragged along behind this hood is really weird by the way it's like a really weird shape anyway I kind of manage on my own but they are incredibly naughty when they go out on walks when I let them off so they're on the leads now but when I let them off they've been recently running into different fields and I don't know where they are so I just have to stand there screaming like an idiot um, because I don't, they don't come back until they're ready and I think they find food and being Labradors they will eat anything but yeah they're quite a handful aren't you girls they're looking at me like mm, we're not hard and I'm like yes you are so yeah the struggles of having two crazy puppies and I mean Java I've never known a dog to do this but Java eats poo I don't even know why she's just disgusting like does anybody else have a dog that eats poo or is that normal like no don't do that Java okay girls I don't know whether to let them off because they run all the way into other fields and I don't know where they go so are you gonna be naughty today I feel they're in a really naughty mood today I can just tell buddy Java good girls are you gonna be good no you're not gonna be good are you oh dear if you own fox red labrador then please tell me if yours are as crazy as barley and java because apparently my mum was told that fox red labradors are apparently supposed to be extremely cheeky and they are definitely living up to that reputation barley what are you doing java oh java's trying to get up now oh dear barley Oh my gosh! That's their room in there. They're not outdoor dogs, by the way. Their room's in there. They're just outside quite a bit. Oh my gosh! She's literally just got up again. And she's now being really stubborn because that is Wally. She won't do what she's being told. Oh my gosh, she's so naughty. Such a stubborn girl. A job wants to try and get up. She's playing Lion King. Hey, get down, Molly. Oh, there we go. We are trying to train them at home. So as you can see, mom often does training with them. They don't go to training classes, but they do go to this doggy puppy crash every week and my mum loves that as well as Bali and Java they get to see all their friends so they definitely have a great time. As my day started off quite late today I had lunch when I got back and then I emptied the dishwasher. I also did the washing up so that we could just clear the kitchen work surfaces and make everything tidy again. After I'd had my lunch and I did everything I wanted to downstairs, I moved back upstairs and got back to work again, surprise, surprise. So today, if I have a full day off, then I will just try and get on with work and study as productively as possible so that I can just get as much stuff done. I was revising and going through the notes from a different topic to the one that I was doing before so in the morning I was doing stuff about the cell cycle which is a very big topic in itself if you want to go into all the details and then I was also just doing some stuff about autophagy. This will not mean anything to you if you don't do biology still goes incredibly dark really early at the moment in the UK but hopefully it will stay lighter as we progress further into the new year. I don't like it when it goes dark really early because it makes it feel so late even though it's not and I will often forget to turn on my lights and I'll be working in the dark but somehow today I actually remember to turn my lights on which was a good sign. It was probably about six o'clock at this time and I was still just working on some notes, still on autophagy, still on this very mysterious topic if you don't know what that means, but I haven't learned about this in previous years and it's something that's quite new to me as well, but it was a very interesting topic and so I was just trying to get things in my head and make sure that I kind of had a good understanding and then after that I moved on to doing an essay plan based on the topic that I was revising this morning so I found two essay titles that were quite different and I decided to plan them both 
all at once. I also mentioned in my 2019 study habits video, which I will link below because I've now mentioned it twice, that I would like to make sure that I plan every single essay that I write before I actually go ahead and do it. So I was fulfilling that goal. In the evening, I went for a run. As you can see, I was in my running gear and then I came back and helped mum prep the food. So I was cutting up all the veg that we were going to have. Today's dinner was actually really great because we had this thing from M&S. Festive parsnip and mold red onion roast. Yes, it was vegan and yes, it was reduced. My mum got it at a reduced value because they needed to get rid of them, I suppose, after the Christmas season. There's loads of food still on the supermarket shelves. I recently posted a video about meal ideas for veganuary so if you want to try veganism and you want to try it in a very simple quick and easy way then i can link that video down below as well and yes this roast thing turned out really great where is that your dinner <laughs> yeah <laughs> Our evening meal today then consisted of the roast thing that we tried and then rice and then veg. My brother had something different because he isn't vegan and then we all load up our plates with sauces or anything extra when we take them to the table. But if you would like to see three full vegan meals then I do highly recommend the other video that I made recently. After dinner I had a shower so I was in my pyjamas at this point and then I was actually finishing the essay plan that I mentioned that I was working on before because I did one of them in quite a lot of detail and I didn't anticipate going into that much detail so I just planned the other one quickly and then I actually just started to write one of them. So I didn't want to use my notes so I just had the plan beside me and I was just typing it on my laptop to see how far I could get. I did this in about 40 minutes so I got the overall basis of the essay and then I did go back afterwards and fill in some more details just so that I could make it complete and I could add in some extra details. So I was still writing it at this point because I didn't time lapse me writing the whole thing but in terms of essay writing I have made some other videos on my channel but I'm probably going to do an updated essay writing video and if you would like that in the future then please do give this video a thumbs up also if you have enjoyed this video then you may as well hit the thumbs up as well and leave any comments down below your questions and if you want to stick around obviously you can subscribe now some of you might be wondering where Milka was. Milka is the cat that is always sitting on my lap and seems to be there in every study video. However, recently she's either been sleeping on my bed the whole day and then only waking up to come and see me in the evening times and that is exactly what she did today. She worked with me whilst I was there for about the last half an hour and then I finished up everything and essentially got ready to go to bed. So I will speak to you in another video guys, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you very soon.